Hello, I'm Carlton with Pull My Pork Barbecue. Thanks for joining me. And today we're going to be doing some spare ribs on our Bradley Electric Smoker. And I've also got my grandson Joe and my nephew Lee here with me. I'm, they're staying with me for a week to ten days. I got to figure out something to feed them. So this is what they're going to eat today. <clears throat> so let's get this party started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put a light coat of mustard on here for binder. And we're going to start with the back side. I've already trimmed the, the ribs and took the membrane off the back. So, we'll get these all going. If I can keep my grandson and my nephew in line here. So we'll shrug this in real good. They're teenage boys, so everybody knows how that's going to go. Alright, first thing we're going to do, we're going to put some Chupacabra Cajun Blend rub on a light coat on these ribs. Gives them a little bit of kick. Flip these over. We're going to do the other side the same way. Because we want these to have a little bit of kick. And Lee, and Lee told me that these ribs are a lot better than his dad's. Ah, so. Whoa, whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, there. I'd like to live to see 16 on <laughs> nine. He wanted me to do this video so his dad could learn how to do them. He's trying to get dad, out of it now. I never said that if you're watching. I'm sorry. I want to go home. Okay, I'm turn back over. The next thing we're going to use on them is we're going to put some Killer Hogs D Barbecue Rub on. That's a really good rub. It's going to layer the flavors on here. Malcolm Reed did a really good job on this rub. Now that we got our rib seasoned up, we're going to let these sit here. We're going to get our smoker going. Okay, our smoker's up to temp. We're going to be running these about 250 degrees on a Bradley smoker. It's been about 10 minutes. I saw it took our smoker to get up to temp. And we're going to be using apple biscuits or pucks to boil this. And we're going to put them on for three hours. Just let them smoke at 250. So let's go get them on. Been on three hours, we just pulled them off. We smoked them at 250 degrees with apple wood, with apple puff. And now I'm going to wrap them up. And if you'll notice on these ribs, how we've got bones starting to protrude. So I put some butter down and I put some uh, brown sugar down. And so I'm just going to wrap these up. I'm going to put a little bit of butter and brown sugar on the top of these. And I'm just going to wrap these up nice and tight. And get them right back on. And for this time we're going to go meat down with them. get the other one set up. We mixed on the apple cider vinegar, vinegar spritz that we made. We mixed it one part apple cider vinegar and three parts uh, or two parts water. And that's what we use for the spritz. Put a little bit more brown sugar on here. We're going to wrap these this one. We're going to 
get these back on the smoker for one hour. We'll be right back. Okay, our ribs were on for an hour wrap. We pulled them off. Now we're just going to coat them with barbecue sauce and get them back on for another hour. And you can see how the they're starting to pull away from the bones, and they were nice and flexible. So these ought to be some pretty good ribs by the time we get through. Get this all sauced up, and we'll get it back out there and get it finished up. Okay, I'm gonna get this back on, and we'll be back with you when they're, when they're done. Okay, so our ribs are done, so let's kind of go over what we did. We took uh, spare ribs and we trimmed them up. We put a layer of uh, we put a layer of mustard on them. Then we come back with some cheaper copper Cajun seasoning, and then on top of that, we put some Killer Hogs D Barbecue rub on it. We put them on the smoker with applewood on a Bradley smoker and run it for about three hours. We pulled them off. We took some butter and brown sugar and laid them meat side down, wrapped them up, put them back on the smoker for an hour, pulled them off, we glazed them with barbecue sauce, whatever barbecue sauce you prefer. You can do this on any smoker. Uh, we just were using our Bradley electric today and then we left them on for about an hour with uh, the sauce on it, still smoking, and now they're ready to go. They've said about 15 minutes. We're fixing to cut these up, and we're all going to give them a try. And you can tell how these are so juicy. Let's see how they pull apart. Now look at that. That bone comes clean. That's some good ribs right there. That's some real good ribs. Let me go get the boys and get them in here. Oh, they're tender? Yeah, they almost fall off. Almost fall off the mud. Very good. Alright, it's got a good smoker. Smoker? What? Yeah, it does have a little smoker. It does. How many times do you have to eat them? Anybody else to eat these? Yeah. So I want anybody to you know, have to taste that. That's just here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well there you have it. Thanks for joining us. And uh, I want to send a thanks out to all my subscribers and everybody that watches my video. And I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women in the military that are serving overseas and around the country also. And I want to send a special thanks out also to all the men and women in law enforcement. They protect us and keep us safe every day. Thank you very much. Alrighty. <laughs> what is up, guys? <laughs> Y'all realize it's been recording this whole time? <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> Alright, so what's up, guys? Today on Home Out Bar Barbecue, we're making some good pork ribs. Uh, today we're using the Chupacabra Cajun blend sauce, and uh, we also got Killer Hogs Barbecue Rub. We got mustard! <laughs> Mustard for the pork gets the season up real nice. Uh, so you're gonna need to start your. <laughs> what is up, guys? Today I'm pulling my first barbecue. Oh, yeah, you're just waving it back. Cool, sir. Both of you, take your ass up. Like the food this way. Oh, yeah, we're going to move They all right. Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm Carlos with Pull My Pork Barbecue. And today we're going to be doing some... <laughs>